Hey guys, what's up? So today is going to be a video of my vanity tour. So I have been kind of avoiding this video for a long time. And the reason why is because I recently just got some new desks for all makeup and just in general for me to be able to focus better and do my work at my desk. It was very difficult for me before because my desk was so small and I had all of my makeup spread across all over it and I didn't have any space to do anything else. So I couldn't even do any work on my laptop or editing. It all had to be done elsewhere and it was just a pain. So now I have everything at my fingertips because I recently built this desk with my boyfriend. It is actually two Ikea desks put together. I will show you guys in just a second. But I'm so happy, so excited, and I'm just, I'm glad that it's all done and I can finally show you guys everything without it just being one giant mess. So here it is, I'm gonna show you guys my Vanity. So my room is a little bit of a mess and the reason why is because it's just a little bit of a mess, but that is okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this entire area right now and just give you a lowdown of what's in the drawers, what's on top of the drawers on the desk. <laughs> so yeah. So this is my desk area over here and as you can see, I don't know if, I don't think I ever showed you guys my old desk, but I showed pictures on my Instagram and it's, it was very small. This is so much bigger. Like I said, these are two Ikea desks put together. So this piece I already had, this was my wonderful first piece that I ever got from my makeup, but this desk here. This whole thing is one desk, and then this is another. So my boyfriend helped me by nailing in these two desks together so that they won't move, and we made it into one without having to worry about um, this sliding back and forth, but also not having to worry about the leg in the way. He made it so that we didn't have to worry about that, so that's awesome. But yeah, this is, this is the space. So I'm going to get to showing you guys what is on top of here first off. Well, this is the remote to my TV. I have a TV up there that I just recently put in, but over here is just a brush cleaner that I have from It Cosmetics that I use occasionally when I'm really lazy. I have this body mist that I use every once in a while as well. Um, that stuff is just junk, to be honest. My water. <laughs> uh, over here, I keep all of my brushes. So, well, not all my brushes, but I kind of spread them throughout the whole desk. So over here, I've got some bronzer brushes, some uh, foundation brushes, highlighter brushes, and blush brushes back here. I have a lot of brushes. These holders here I actually got from e.l.f. You can get them online on their website. I believe that's the only place you can purchase these from, but they are not that badly priced. I believe they're about like 15, 16, maybe $17. I have another one here and they divide up all of the stuff in here really well. I love that. These are all powder brushes. These are just some random brushes that I wasn't really sure what to do with, but they're mostly like contour type brushes. These are all like under eye setting brushes and contour brushes that I have over here, some concealer brushes and stuff like that. I have a hand cream here and also a hand sanitizer that I use a lot throughout the day when I'm just hanging out over here. I have my ring light, which is very bright right now. I have, well, my Tati Beauty sponge, which is actually out here drying because I just washed it. This washes so well, by the way. So excited to start using that again. I have the Clinique take off the day, well, take the day off cleansing milk sitting over here. I actually use this to take off makeup that's on my hand when I'm swatching makeup. Uh, I just think that's really easy. I once used this on my face and it burned my eyes. So I do not use that on my face anymore. I just like using it with some cotton squares here. I just think it's the easiest way to take off makeup. Uh, makeup wipes I have too, but 
I like that way better. Back here behind my mirror, I have an entire tray of sponges. Um, to be completely honest, I just recently cleaned all my sponges and I'm keeping them out there to dry right now because I don't want them sitting in the drawer up here and getting all wet and damp. Then over here, we have some eyeshadow brushes. This is not even close to all of my eyeshadow brushes. These are all BH Cosmetics brush holders that I got from the website directly. They're like dirt cheap. I think they're like four or five dollars each and they're really nice. They're like um, a cushiony material, which is really cool, but I don't really divide these up in any way. I just kind of keep them within these three little holders. So here's my mirror. This is my high mirror. It's a mirror that lights up. You can change the type of lighting, make it a little, you know, not so bright, make it into there's like sunset lighting. I prefer the restaurant party room one. And yeah, it's kind of like a mini iPad, to be honest. As you can see, look at that. <laughs> I have my Jeffree Star mirror here, which is just my ride or die. I use this thing all the time, I love it. A beauty blender that's dirty, that needs to be washed. And I have a nice setup right here that I really enjoy using. This is a different piece from this one. I bought this piece, I think at Ulta. And then this one up here, I purchased from Ulta as well. They're two pieces separate completely. So over here, down at the bottom, I just have some random stuff down here. It's nothing that's really that wonderful. I have some nude sticks, pencil sharpeners, just some pens and pencils. Um, I actually use the nude sticks cases that they come in the tins to hold all of this stuff. I thought that was actually a good way of using them. These are, this is lash glue right here. This is a pencil sharpener. Um, and then we have some tweezers and a scissor here, but I don't really use any of that stuff to be honest. It just kind of hangs out here. Then in this drawer here, this is a body bronzer brush from Morphe that I have. I have like a random notepad, just some stationary stuff. The Vera Mona color switch from Sephora. And I also have some eye tape in here that I barely ever use. And I also have this Bobbi Brown kind of like a, it's like a shimmer powder. Well, it says shimmer powder, something like that. <laughs> I also have some blotting sheets in here too. It's all random stuff, so. This drawer has some perfume samples in it. My nails that I'm wearing right now, which by the way, I love, they are from Kiss. I got these from Ulta, they're the short ones, and I really enjoy them. The only thing is they're kind of chipping a little bit, like the polish is chipping off, you can't really tell, but that's honestly fine for me. I really do enjoy these. They have fall fallen off a couple of times, but I just glue them right back on and it's no big deal. I have this nail manicure set, which has been a lifesaver during this time. So I enjoy using that. Then I have these two smaller slots up here. These are all random little primers. I have some eyeshadow primers in here, um, like a glitter glue. This is my lash primer, my ride or die lash primer. I love that. An eye brightener pencil from Thrive Cosmetics. Stuff like that. Over here is all brow products. These are all brow gels. And then I have one pomade in here from Anastasia. It's honestly the only pomade that I ever use. But I love my brow gels. I love the Giddy Brow, one of my favorites. The Milk Makeup one is pretty good too. Uh, and then the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel are also some of my favorites. Then we have this setup up here, right here in this drawer, is all of my brow pencils. I have some of my favorites in here, nude sticks. My Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefits. I have the Brow Contour Pro, some other stuff as well. This is the most random drawer ever. There's literally a Derm Store coupon in here. <laughs> these are my hair clips, which I totally didn't even use yet. I bought these off of, I think it's HSN that I got them off of. And they're supposed to be those ones that you use to clip back your hair when you're applying makeup. So. We haven't tried them yet. And then that's just a little adapter for my MacBook plug. Then over here is kind of just a miscellaneous drawer. These are some eyeliners, the glitter eyeliners from Urban Decay. And then these are lip and cheek balms over here. Just random stuff that I've gotten in boxes before, subscription boxes. 
And then going up here, I just have some more random stuff sitting around. These are my deodorants. This is the native deodorant that I use. I love this one, but I also love this. This is the Briogeo Be Well Tea Tree and Eucalyptus Clean Deodorant. This is my favorite, it's so good. I have random perfumes up here that I use a lot. This is the Francesca Stories, The Muse, and then my By Rosie Jane Layla Lou perfume, which is another favorite of mine. I have some brow brushes up here, and also a lash separator too, some spoolies. I have the maracuja oil from Tarte up here, which I use to mix with my foundation sometimes. And then I have the Amazing Grace perfume and also the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose perfume. And then I also keep my Tarte lip oils up here. As you can see, this one I've used so much of. And this one I'm kind of using a ton of. <laughs> this one still has a lot to go. But these are some of my favorite lip oils. So I keep them up here. I used to keep them in my bag. As you can see, they got really dirty. But I keep them up here now. It's just an easier way to take care of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Then over here, I have some other random stuff, mostly perfumes. This is my cuticle oil. I use this a lot. I bought this at Ulta recently just to make sure that my cuticles aren't drying up too much. They've been cracking a lot and it's driving me crazy. So starting to use this stuff some more. And I also think it's really cool. Look at the flower petals at the bottom. How cool is that? Got some more perfumes. We have the Flower Bomb, Victor and Roth one. We have this Juicy Couture perfume that I got as a gift from my last job. I honestly have not really tried this one. Um, and then we have this by Rosie Jane James perfume. This one is very nice, more of a going out perfume than the Layla Lou one, which is more of like an everyday perfume. This is the Butter Paradise perfume from Physicians Formula. This makes you feel like you should be on a Caribbean island at the moment, so I love this one. This is from Hollister. This is the Malaya perfume. I actually recently repurchased this after not using it for years. I used to love this when I was in high school. <laughs> but it's such a nice perfume it smells amazing and i forgot how much i loved it so i saw it on sale recently and i repurchased it this is the black opium ysl perfume this is an awesome perfume for events and for going out i have this body mist from victoria's secret the bombshell paradise very nice for the summertime i also have the two kat von d perfumes over here, as well as my two Cover FX custom cover drops. I do have to repurchase these soon because I'm running out of them. I have my charger over here for my phone. <laughs> and then also I have three of my favorite eyeshadow palettes sitting here. I have to get a holder for them. But this is the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette, which is a huge favorite of mine. Such a pretty palette. Then I have the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded palette, another huge favorite of mine. Such a pretty palette. And then the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette, which I can't seem to open. There we go. Love this one. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Then up here, I have my lipstick holder. I have tons of lipsticks up here. These are honestly the only lipsticks that I have though. Everything else is a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss. I try not to buy so many lipsticks, so this is my limit. <laughs> I have some Too Faced up here, some Urban Decay, Bite Beauty. These are their old ones though. I don't think that they sell these anymore. Then I have Wet n Wild, Becca, some Elf here, Lorac. These are all really great lipsticks. Uh, KKW Beauty, Morphe. We have some Flower Beauty over here. We have ColourPop. Tarte, some of my favorite lipsticks ever, these Tarte ones. We also have some Bobbi Brown, MAC, great lipsticks, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then some random other ones down here that did not fit, <laughs> but those are mostly Tarte ones down there in Smashbox. I got this off of Amazon. I really enjoy this holder. I just think it's such an easy way to store your lipsticks. And now we're going to move on to the rough part, the drawers. So I recently reorganized this because I honestly felt like it needed to be reorganized. It's It was a giant mess. I had all of my makeup in different places and I wasn't sure where I wanted it at first. So I just threw it into whatever drawer. But just yesterday I decided to redo everything. So I'm going to show you guys all of it. So, so first drawer here is all my primers. And I have a lot of primers, obviously. I'm not gonna show you every single one because there's a ton, but I have my primers in here, some of my oils. This is the Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil. I love using this on my skin, especially before 
putting on another primer just so that my skin feels a little more moisturized because sometimes it feels ridiculously dry. Um, I have some of my favorite primers in here, Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. I'm actually waiting to get the liquid one in the mail soon. I'm so excited to try it out. Some of my Tula primers, which are some of my favorites, the Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. This one, I love. This is the Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. This one here from Ule Hendrickson. This is a great one, the Banana Bright Eye Primer. I mean, Face Primer, sorry. <laughs> First Aid Beauty, this is an awesome primer too. This is really great if you have dry skin. My skin can feel really dry in the winter time, so that's why I use that one. And I also have some illuminators as well in here. I have the Iconic London one, which I just tried in a video that I will be posting soon. Um, and then I also have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. This is so, so good to mix with your foundations to make you glow a little more. And I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in here. This is awesome underneath your foundation too. Another good one, Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. This is such an awesome primer, really moisturizing, really hydrating. I love this face oil. If you haven't tried this, you should. The Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil, so, so good. So those are all my primers. You know, if you see anything that you want me to put into a video in the future, definitely let me know in the comments below when I'm going through these drawers. So next is my concealer drawer. These are all of my concealers. So some of my favorites that I keep in here are my Cover FX concealers. These are the Power Play concealers. These are so freaking good. I'm obsessed with these ones. They just blend so well and look really hydrating on the skin. Uh, I have this... Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. I just recently tried this in my last video as well that I'll be posting soon. I love this. It really illuminates your under eyes, makes them look really nice and hydrated. I have tried this one recently, the new Hourglass Concealer. This is so good. This is fantastic. Obsessed with that one. I love the KKW Beauty Concealers. Those are really good as well. The Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop, so, so good. And yeah, so more stuff in here that I love using. I definitely have a lot of concealers, but I wouldn't say that I have as many concealers as I have foundation, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> so this is my foundation drawer slash kind of like my giant eyeshadow palette drawer, which I'll show you guys first. I keep um, my Jaclyn Hill palette in here, which is too big to fit in my other eyeshadow drawer. I keep a Morphe palette in here, also a uh, Storybook Cosmetics palette. An eyeshadow palette. This is the Pure Cosmetics one here, and this is a Tarte palette that has a ton of different things in it. These are kind of just, you know, like I said, I don't have enough space for them, so I just stick them back there. Anyway, I have so many foundations in here. It's excessive. It's ridiculous, actually. I have <laughs> such great ones, too. I really love and enjoy a lot of these foundations. For the summer, I'm obsessed with the Daily Correct CC Cream from Supergoop. This is such a good tinted moisturizer or CC cream, whatever you want to call it. This really blurs out your pores and make your, makes your skin look so nice. It also has SPF in it. The Pretty Fresh ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. This one is awesome as well. I just recently tried out the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator from Tarte, which is brand new. I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. Just as like an everyday little tinted moisturizer, perfect. And I have some hardcore foundations in here, you know, high coverage, long comb over here. Uh, I also have the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. That's a good one too. I keep my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea one in here, which is really nice. Just recently tried out this Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation in my last video. So, so good. It's actually... Then I have my Tarte Babasu Multitasking Foundation, the Found Sealer, so, so good. The Wander Beauty New Delusion Liquid Foundation, such a good one. Uh, the Dior, oh, this one, the Face and Body Foundation, so good, love that one. But yeah, that's just a little dip into my foundation collection. It's a lot, but I have to admit that most of these I really enjoy using and I use with them a ton as well. So just my favorites. I'm big into CC creams and tinted, tinted moisturizers right now. It's just my thing at the moment, especially this guy here. Whew, it smells so good. Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Correcting Cream. I had to buy a new one too. And you can't find this anywhere, it's out of stock. 
finally found it on QVC, and the only one I could get was Transforming Neutral Base, so I'm hoping that this works for my skin. Next, we have my first of two eyeshadow drawers, and this one is more like my mini palettes and my medium sized palettes. The bottom drawer is more of my big palettes. I have a ton in here. This is one I actually just tried today that I'm wearing now. This is the Zueva Rose Golden Palette. That's a really nice palette, by the way. I have my Nude Sticks palettes here, which in here is actually all my Nude Sticks pencils, so everything for the eyes. I love these, they're so, so good. Wander Beauty, I have some Wander Beauty palettes in here. These are really awesome as well. My Marc Jacobs palettes, my mini Natasha Denona's. These are so, so good. I also have a bunch back here, some ColourPop, Tarte I have. I have all of my Dose of Colors palettes back here, as well as my Violet Boss palette here, the Essentials, and then another Lorac palette back there. Um, I have my Naked Urban Decay palette randomly over here. Why? I don't know because I'm pretty sure the other one is down at the bottom. Then I have the rest of my eyeshadows down here. I have some Lorac palettes down here. This is one that was like a Christmas palette shine bright collection that came out it was a while ago i have some mega palettes down here from lorac and then i have all of my lorac pro palettes right here i have some pat mcgrath some natasha Denona, more color pop the ones that are up here are mostly like the ones that i gravitate towards the most but to be honest i kind of go for a lot of these because they're just such good palettes i have two faced over here anastasia and then i have some tarte palettes back there that i really enjoy so I have a ton here and I honestly really love most of these palettes. They're some of my big favorites and I would not give them up for anything. I've actually gotten rid of a lot of makeup. All of that over there. <laughs> Don't mind the wires that are sitting in there, but this is all makeup I'm giving away. Um, I didn't want to just throw any of it out, but the problem is I haven't been able to go anywhere and give it to anyone since the coronavirus happened. So trying to just give it to people in my house at the moment. <laughs> at the top starts all of my powders. So on the right hand side is all loose setting powders, while on the left hand side is all pressed setting powders. I tried this one recently. Actually, I'm wearing it today. This is so nice. I love this. I have my all-time favorite over here, the Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass, another ambient lighting powder. I have the Essence Pure Nude highlighter here, Galactic Powder, I have so many over here. And then for loose setting powders, I have Flower Beauty, Kylie Cosmetics, Too Faced, Thrive Cosmetics, Cody Airspun, Cover Effects, Laura Mercier, I have a little bit of everything. Then over here, this is all eye products. So this is all like eyeshadow toppers and my Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. I really enjoy using all these as eyeshadow toppers. Some of these are actually, like, this is a highlighter and so is that one, but they're too dark for my skin, so I just use them as eyeshadow toppers. And then back here is all of my eyeliners. I have a lot of eyeliners, a lot of black ones. Oh, and I have a random black nude sticks eye color thing here, but I like using it as an eyeliner sometimes. Then over here is my bronzer drawer. We've got some cream bronzers up here in the front. I actually tried this one and the Kaja one, one on either side of my face in my last video, and I'm obsessed. Guys, it's so, so good. I'm dying at how amazing it is. It just blended out so simply, so easily. I use my beauty blender with it, and wow. My Chanel cream bronzer, love that. My milk makeup cream bronzer, so good. My butter bronzers from Physicians Formula, some of my all-time favorites. Cover effects I have over here, the old and new. Lawless, great bronzer. Galactic I have here. Milani, some Tarte. This is Stay Lauder, L'Oreal, Too Faced. This is from Laura Geller, such a great bronzer. And then I have some contour palettes back here as well. I love these drawers because these are actually bigger than those ones. They're longer, so you can fit more products in them, which is awesome. You can spread it out a little more, which makes it a little easier for you to find what you want. Over here is my blush drawer. I have 
a lot of blush as well. I mean, I have a lot of everything. <laughs> These are some cream blushes I have over here. This is the Smashbox one that's also for your lips. I have ColourPop, Kaja, which is also really good. Some LA Girl blushes, powder blushes, Hourglass. I have some Milani. M cover effect. I love those cover effects blushes. They're so good. NARS Orgasm, which is a fan favorite. Tarte blushes. Lorac blushes. Ooh, this contour palette from Wander Beauty. Well, it's a blush and bronzer duo, but I just keep it in here because it's easier to store in here. This is actually so good. I fell in love with this. Then for highlighters, I have this drawer down here. I have a lot of highlighters as well. Some of my absolute favorites that I have here, this is brand new, just to use this for the first time in my last video. This is the Hourglass Metallic Ambient, I think it's Ambient, Metallic Ambient Strobe Lighting Palette, something like that, but wow, guys, look at this. These are so good. I put these on and I almost fainted. They were just amazing. The Loose Highlighter from Wet n Wild and I'm So Lit, love this. Milk Makeup. I have some cream highlighters, milk makeup again. This liquid highlighter from Water Beauty, such a good one. This illuminating powder from Cover Effects, this is also really good. Milani. We have some KKW Beauty in here, some e.l.f., Becca, Benefit, some more e.l.f., Jouer, those are some of my favorites. The Dior ones back there are also some of my favorites. Lorac, love these. Pure Cosmetics. Uh, MAC. And then I also have some Physicians Formula back there too. But those are just amazing highlighters. Then going from the top down over here, we have all lip products in the first top drawers. I actually go by brand when it comes to my lip products in these drawers because I just feel like it's the easiest way for me to know where everything is. I have Physicians Formula here, Tarte, all my Tarte ones are here, uh, Bare Minerals I have, Bite Beauty, uh, we have some e.l.f. back there. Those are just some like random ones back there that I only have one from the brand, but the Tasha Denona, there's just a lot of them in here, but this is the first drawer of three. Second drawer which has Becca in here, Jouer, I have Morphe, NARS, some Hourglass, which by the way, these are the bomb. I only have one, but they're the bomb. The problem is they're expensive, so we can't get a ton, but they're good. Tons of ColourPop, a buttload of ColourPop. This is all ColourPop going back there. And then I have some Stila back here, more ColourPop, <laughs> Marc Jacobs, which these are some of my favorites. These ones, oh my God, so good. And then the last drawer of lip products, all these up front are nude sticks, except for this one. I actually tried this for the first time today. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Lip Gloss in Secret Agent. And wow, guys, it tastes and smells minty. And it's just really nice. It's not a sticky gloss, which I love, but it just feels so nice on your lips. Then over here, we have Physicians Formula Lip Balms. These are awesome, very pigmented, by the way. NYX lip glosses over here, the butter glosses. I have tons of Dose of Colors. I'm obsessed with Dose of Colors lip products. They're amazing, especially their liquid lips. Ciate back here, some Lorac, which I have over here too. I have some Fenty Beauty here. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the lip products. In this drawer here is all my mascara. It's kind of a random drawer. I have mascara here on the left, and then the right I have all my lip pencils, which I know that's a little strange to have the two of those in the same drawer, but it was the only thing that kind of fit together. So over here with mascara, I have too many. I have so many actually. I just tried this Tarte Surfer Curl one in my newest video, as well as the Thrive one too. I tried one on each eye. Those are both really awesome. I have this one from Wander Beauty. This is a great one. The Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I have the Lash blowout one from a cosmetics and dry bar milk makeup some color pop there's a lot in here i just love these mascaras though most of them not all some of them i just have in here and have not used in a long time which i probably should get rid of i have a ton of lip pencils too so i have some Lorac ones in here. This one I tried as well with the Glow Skin Beauty lip gloss and it's a really nice one. I'm liking it so far. I have some Urban Decay, KKW Beauty, and Kylie Cosmetics, some of my favorite lip liners ever. Bite Beauty. And then I have all of my ColourPop ones sitting over here. I bought the big set because 
why not? It was just a lot cheaper in the long run, even though who is ever going to use a blue lip liner, but you never know. Could give it to a friend who likes blue lip products. Don't know. Then over here, we have all of my setting sprays and priming sprays. So I, I have a decent amount, but I don't have nearly as much as I have with everything else. Um, some of my favorites are definitely the All Nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I only really use this in the summer though because it can be really drying on my skin if I use this in the winter. I have the iconic London Prep Set and Glow. And I'm trying to break it apparently. When you shake this, it becomes like this gorgeous illuminating spray. It's just really nice. I used this one in my video today. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I bought the smaller one because the big one is expensive and I wanted to try it out and see what the fuss was about. It's really nice. It does make your skin look really dewy. Then I have the Tarte Stay Spray here, the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist, which is awesome. Love that one. The Pretty Fresh ColourPop setting spray. This one's really nice. This newer one from Tarte, the Maracuja Miracle Mist, is really nice. This is one of my favorites too. This is the Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist from In Beauty. So, so, so happy that I got this and I really need to get a new one at some point. But yeah, those are pretty much all of my sprays. Then we have some random stuff in here. This is some stuff from my computer that I have sitting here in a random remote and stuff like that. But up front, I keep all of my new products that I have not tried out yet, as well as products that I'm using for future videos. So this I'm using in future try-on videos, but I'm also um, looking to just try out these products in general because I want to remember to try them because I can't even tell you how many times that I have put stuff away and never tried it because I forget that it's there. So I have a specific drawer for it now. In this drawer is actually all of my refills and then I have lashes in here too because I don't really use lashes. I don't have a lot. So those just stay in here until I have a, you know, time to figure out how to use them. Um, but I have tons and tons of refills in here. This is a Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. Um, I have a Buildable Lore CC Cream in here from Thrive Cosmetics. I have a couple of shape tapes in here because it's just easy to have a bunch of these on hand. I have a new primer from Lancome in here for my lashes. Some of the Lights Camera Lashes mascaras from Tartar in here. I have a new found sealer. I have an Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline a ColourPop mascara, just some random stuff, cover effects, perfect setting powder, the stuff that I know that I'm going to reuse constantly over and over again. I, I always wind up repurchasing the items and just sticking them in here until I'm done with the other ones. This is the first of my two drawers with my face palettes in them, except for this part. This is, these are just face wipes that I have in here. I kind of divided this into like highlighter palettes. These are all highlighter palettes back here. I have my Anastasia palettes right here, the glow kits. I also have my KKW Beauty highlighter palette back here, my Tarte one, Flower Beauty. So that's all back there. I have some, these are all the ones that I actually can't stand up in my drawers because they're too high. Um, but this is the Dominique Cosmetics Prisma Glow, another glow kit from Anastasia, just some contour kits and some other stuff down there. These are all blush palettes, just strictly blush palettes. I have the Alamar Cosmetics one down here, this one from Lovecraft Beauty, Ulta Beauty Peach Pop palettes. I have my Lorac blush palette in here, Jouer, and then also my favorite ever the MAC blush palette that I made. And then the last drawer down here is a bit cluttered, but this has also the rest of my face palettes in here. So I have my Hourglass ones here. I have some NARS palettes back here, some Dior, Bobbi Brown, my Cali Contour palette from Smashbox. And then over here is just some other random stuff that I have. These are all Physicians Formula back here including this one that is randomly over here, but all Physicians Formula, love these palettes. This is a Casey Holmes collab with Physicians Formula, and this is the Weili Huang one. Smashbox, I have ColourPop back here. These are the 
create your own palettes. So yeah, that is pretty much all the face palettes that I have. Those are so yeah, guys, that is pretty much all of my makeup. That's my entire vanity tour. This is what my vanity looks like now, and it's honestly the best thing in the world. I'm so, so, so happy that I finally decided to get these desks. It's been something that has been on my mind for probably a good year now that I've been wanting to do that. But I'm really excited to keep bringing out more videos to you guys. Sorry, I've been very MIA lately. Been trying to bring out some more stuff, but it's been tough because of the lack of motivation during this time with putting on makeup. But, uh, you know, I gotta kinda keep myself in the button start getting back to it. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!